you're lucky enough to have a walk-in closet, does it look like this? A single wooden bar on each side, overstuffed with clothes on hangers, a shelf sagging with stacks of sweaters and purses, and shoes everywhere. Wouldn't you love to have a custom closet like this with ample shelf space, eight drawers, 28 feet of hanging space, well-lit, and a floor-to-ceiling shoe rack? Well, you can. Stick around and I'll show you how to do it yourself. My friends Joe and Pam decided to use closet-made impressions in dark cherry for their walk-in closet. We bought everything at Home Depot. Check the links in the video description and you can buy them online and pick them up in the store. The first thing we did was measure the room and draw the design in SketchUp. But graph paper works just as well if you don't have SketchUp. This closet isn't big, so we needed to maximize the space. We planned to put a closet kit on each side. One for him, one for her, you know, to keep a happy marriage. Although they market it as a kit, the units really only come with the tower cabinets and bars. Everything else is a la carte. So we also bought an extra bar, eight drawers, four shelves, and four shoe racks. Now, this wasn't cheap. Although the bill topped $1,100, we saved thousands by doing it ourselves instead of hiring a professional closet company. This furniture is known as Ready to Assemble, or RTA, because, well, you get to assemble it. That makes it cheaper for them to manufacture, store, and ship, and they pass that savings on to you. Assembly is fairly easy, primarily with a screwdriver and a hammer, but it does take time. Oh, and by the way, the wood glue isn't included for these moldings, so be sure to have some on hand if you decide to use this product. I like how the moldings really dress up the cabinets. While I was upstairs building the cabinets, Joe was in the kitchen assembling the drawers. To make the cabinets sit flush against the wall, we either needed to remove the baseboards or notch the cabinets to fit over them. We choose the latter and cut the cabinets. To do this, we first cut the back out of the way and then used a jigsaw to roughly cut the shape of the baseboard. We used that first scrap piece as a template to mark and cut the rest. It's not pretty, but nobody's going to see it when it's full of clothes. Finally, we could put everything in place. It's very important to attach the cabinets to the walls and into studs whenever possible. I just put screws through the backs of all four shoe trees, but they provided angle brackets to secure the cabinets to the wall. The top shelves are installed with a bracket on the tops of the cabinets. They give you the same brackets with wall anchors to attach the other ends to the walls, but I don't like using wall anchors for heavy things like shelves. So I screwed scrap 1x4 pine boards to the studs to make my own shelf brackets that will never come down. It's a good idea to add another support near the middle of the shelf, definitely in a stud, to prevent it from sagging. I used painter's tape to mark where the bar hangers would go because pencil marks would be too hard to see on this dark wood. Each kit came with three adjustable bars, but we bought one extra for Joe's side of the closet that needed to be cut to length with a tubing cutter. The drawers went in pretty easily. But it took a while to get the top one in the track. We bought this awesome LED track light to replace the ugly light fixture that was probably as old as the house. The box for the light wasn't in the middle of the room, so a track light was a perfect solution because the box can be anywhere along the track and we can position the lights wherever we wanted them. 
We just eyeballed where to put the track supports. And then we attached the track and installed the lights. Well, there you have it. These closet organizers really helped Joe and Pam get the maximum storage in just 54 square feet. And that shoe tree is to die for. It's every woman's dream, right? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Thanks. Visit my website, handydad.tv, for more great ideas and information. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted.